Hello, Arf here. Hey, we just locked through McAlpin and uh, put the boat in at uh, on the beach at Sand Island. And before I go any further, let me show you this. And this. Those are kind of fresh. I've only seen deer on these islands one time in all the years I've been coming down here. So, you know, there's not even that much thick stuff for them to hide in, but there's some low forest growth. So, they're here somewhere. But anyway, I couldn't think of a better place or a better time to show you what Sand Island looks like. So, I put in about a quarter mile back, then walking down the beach, I looked for one cache from a uh, another hider, but I can't find it. So I'm going to look for, uh, I'm going to check all the caches on the island. And uh, just because I can't find it doesn't mean anything. I can turn a one and a half into a five. But anyway, this is what Sand Island looks like. Sand Island's made up mostly of cottonwood trees, low growth, big sand dunes, all it is. And it's a lot of cottonwood tree leaves on the ground. So, what you see is uh, pretty easy walking. It's hard packed sand. I put it on a beach back there on a hard packed spot, tied off to a tree. The uh, water's up on the lower gauge. It's about eight feet higher than it normally would be for the hike. So, places to tie off uh, are kind of high up on the beach. It's kind of steep, but as soon as you get an opening, here's a 360. This is what you get. Not bad, huh? Now I'm gonna walk over here because there's a view of the river, and I'll show you what Sand Island Dyke looks like at this elevation, and possibly even, yeah, we're gonna see the hydro in a minute. I'm gonna get a glimpse of it anyway. Another cache that's down here is most certainly underwater, I think. That in the horizon over there on the edge, uh, right side of the image, below the power tower, that's the hydroelectric plant. That riffle of water across there, or water disturbance you see, that's a sand island dike. That's a wall. It goes across the river from the Indiana side and it's, the, the idea is to def deflect the current into that channel. Now you probably see or have an idea of kind of how fast the water is. Yeah, we don't paddle in that. Uh, we'll never get into anything like that. So the cache I wanted to check on really is in that tree right there. It's in the base of it. That's not going to happen today. So, anyway, on the far side of the river over there, if I can zoom without shaking too much, there is the uh, Harrison Avenue boat ramp. You would put your boat in there, paddle straight across to the island, it's only 1,600 feet. So, anyway, I'm going to go check on a couple of other caches and we'll get back to you in a little bit. See you later.